Hello there, Pisces, and welcome to your Oracle messages. Let's find out what Spirit wants you to know when it comes to your current situation here. All right. A little shift in perspective, okay? All right, all right, all right. And then things are going to get moving here. In fact, a lot of you, Pisces, might be already in this place of, you know, surrendering. You may also be receiving some type of download from your higher self, the divine, and gaining some type of new perspective, maybe a new breakthrough. But you are, in the meantime, creating an opportunity here or a opportunity is being created for you. You just may need a little bit of time here. So I would say there is something about deep reflection, deep introspection, um, and also maybe falling in love, you know, with a new aspect of yourself, with your life. Yes, and possibly with someone too. You know, for some of you already involved in a relationship or romantic one, well, I guess, you know, whatever is important to you, the one that comes to mind here, because it could be, you know, just an important relationship to you, like a, you know, a friend or something like that. But anyhow, there could be a, um, a rebirth in that relationship here. So, um, that I see that would be going towards the positive. Now, don't give up on your dreams. You know, the Knight of Cups is a very dreamy card here and there's a, a need or a want, um, to be on this quest for some type of movement and fulfillment, especially when it comes to being very creative in your heart space. Okay. And not that you have to do it alone, but you know, you do need to trust that there's something going on here with visions. Um, I feel too, you might be in a place where you don't need to take a, a, any type of aggressive approach at this time. Uh, cause look at the hangman and look at the temperance and the knight of cups, you know, it, it's a, we're in a place of being p at peace here. So just embody that if you're not already, because there's something that is going on that really is out of your control. And so all you can do is just surrender. Something's happening here in divine order. And I do see that Pisces, there seems to be a person here though, okay, that's uh, playing some type of important role. Let's see, let's continue. Uh, we have Sagittarius coming through as well as Cancer Pisces Scorpio with the Knight of Cups here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, we got the Six of Cups. Ooh. Let's get more about the Six of Cups. There could be like a reunion or feeling some type of soul connection. Now, there is some type of random act though. So just be open to random acts of kindness, whether you're doing it or it's being um, given to you. But the only, only way you're going to be able to do that is if you just, you know, surrender th to this time, space, and moment. Not forcing anything, right? Now, also, I was talking about this thing about dreamy here. Hmm. And so we could be having dreams about, you know, r a relationship, maybe someone in specific, maybe not. But this does speak about memories. So let's get a little bit more. What's important for Pisces to know about the Six of Cups? I do see something about, oh, you know, really opening yourself up to some type of random act of kindness here. It's going to rekindle something for you, maybe even passion. <laughs> okay. There could be something significant with a, you know, uh, some type of um, coming together or celebrating here, like a culmination of things, or perhaps, you know, something important when it comes to attaining a goal. But it's not you doing it by yourself, because if you look at both of these cards, there's someone there as well or others there. So make sure, you know, that you are acknowledging the ones that have helped you. And also, I would say, you know, maybe right not, maybe not so much now, but there may be this thing later on where, you know, um, others just respect you for, you know, doing something here that is of importance or you know, making some type of special moment here in time and space. That's exactly what's happening here. We're marking something, whether this is some type of special ceremony, you know, this is also connected to a card of marriage. So just take that how you want, but we are feeling like we 
have some type of significant thing to celebrate for. And what's kind of cute too is I see someone here that's going out and getting all these things. You know, someone may be out shopping or something about the market here. And we're bringing things from, you know, we're bringing some, we're, we're either creating or bringing beauty with us. Because if you notice, there is like a lot of smoke and there's like some type of industrial plant there. But in the midst of that, there's just, there's a little bit of brightness, isn't there? <laughs> you know, we've got something fresh, we got floral. So you're creating a space and a moment in time right now to capture important memories from this point on. And yes, you're not doing it alone. So I would just say, um, you know, there is something significant here with you feeling good and helpful when it comes to celebrating yourself and others and feeling really good about where you're at here. There could be a family reunion or some type of homecoming, you know? Okay, let's see, what else? And you never know, Pisces, it's almost like some type of random act of kindness leads to something quite significant here. It might be the missing puzzle or the missing piece. We have the five of wands. You know, we could be up against some rivalry here. We could be up against, you know, opposing people or ideas. But I would say be calm and patient here. You may need to be the more mature one perhaps, okay? Just saying because, you know, when we're having to be around conflict or people who like to stir up conflict, the only thing you know, that you can do is just maybe have compassion and understanding that perhaps that's, you know, all they can see is what's in front of them. They're not looking a little bit into the future and what's affecting them just by their action, you know, what's affecting them and their future by their actions and their behaviors in this time and moment. But I would say steer, steer clear away from drama or fighting or maybe the need to feel that you have to fight for something here. Okay. Um, now, we, we could also be in this place, too, where, you know, I do see some type of maybe recovery or rebirth in a relationship or relationships maybe that have gone a little awry here. So let's get more about the Five of Wands. What's important for Pisces to know about the Five of Wands? We have uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, you're like in your own little protective cove here, <laughs> some type of protective energy. I want you to think of those four of wands as this, you know, powerful force of protection here. So, you know, whatever's going on the outside, that's fine. Let it be, right? Okay, let's see. Let's get more about this five of wands. Mm, see, we got the phoenix. We do have something about a rebirth here. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind here. I want to see which one is like, see this like new phase and this growth is really coming out of this five of wands. We're growing out of something where we've been, you know, uh, whatever, there could have just been some, you know, internal or ex external conflict, but there just seems to be this like battle here. <laughs> it's like, just wave goodbye here. So, hmm, this might be hard for maybe some of you Pisces, because some of you might have gotten upset here with others. Just change your mind how you, th how you see it in some way, shape or form you know, change, get creative here on how only take this only if it really like gets at you when you've got something going on here, that's like hooking you into a place of negativity or just whatever, you know, do whatever you can to just get into this place of change mind about this or change perspective. Right. So it's like you're creating this rebirth, you're creating this space and you're the one that's going to be flying over any strife or rivalry. So don't feel that you have to compete for anything, actually. Um, I just would say you are just mostly concentrated on keeping some type of uh, memory, uh, 
pure or you're keeping a space pure here, right? Because the Six of Cups also can speak about new memories that want to take part of your life that you're inviting. There's something that you might not be noticing or maybe some of you, whatever you didn't notice and you notice now, just give yourself a little time because you're getting used to something. You might be having to get used to someone as well. <laughs> okay, this card was like, hey. Oh, we got the world card. Nice, see? There is something very strong here about a successful completion. Feeling that you can be confident and feel good about you know, stepping into an experience that is worthy and deserving of you because you have finished something at a soul level here when it comes to completing a journey, a lesson, a goal, but it came with a lot of growth. Look at that. You are the phoenix. It's like, show yourself off. Don't be afraid to show yourself off. Okay, let's see what this card was doing. Oh my gosh, 10 of look at that. That's 10 of swords. That's the thing that we're leaving behind. Notice how she is stepping in or on the clouds here. You're above a situation. Now perhaps we're, you know, not all of you, but I I can see that, you know, cuz this comes with great struggle here because look at the swords. I mean, we're really pinned down here or if we pin something down, okay? But let it be. It's like just let this be. Let 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 it go. Because heaven is literally carrying you. I just feel that there's all the there's some kind of changes. It's like you're going with the winds of change. I, I feel that this it's like this knight of cups to me is like swimming swimming with the currents of life here. So that's what you're doing. But in the meantime, don't forget how far you've come. You're not in this old uh, situation or old way or maybe even an old self or maybe someone here that we've ended for our own growth. So there's a powerful um, protection in place for you too. Heaven really wants you to know this, Pisces. So just enjoy. I would say, again, you know, you're doing stuff here where you don't have to take, you know, an aggressive approach or feel that you have to battle right now. In fact, you know, I would say uh, if there is a situation where you just have to confront it, just try to take a different approach possibly or a softer approach. What else? Again, because you may need to be the wiser one or the, mo the ta you know, the, the mature one here because you are the mature one. I already know that. Okay, we got the eight of wands here. Hmm. We got the speed is picking up here. Uh, communication as well. Now, with the eight of wands, there could be a lot going on. So we may need to try to focus on those things that are really important or those opportunities that you feel will give you the most growth or is in line with something here that you know, ignites within your soul. So let's get more with this eight of wands. The chariot, you are, you're gravitating towards something, some type of great change and victory here. I was just talking about going with the winds of change. I mean, look at these cannons, you know, it's like you're following this. So there's a lot of backup and acceleration and a lot of power when you need it. But with the chariot, you're also maintaining a sense of victory because you are handling, um, you know, oppositions if you need to or priority. I mean, you're handling and balancing things in a way where there is nothing that can stop you. It's like you're literally being unstoppable here. So I would say if there's been a new direction that has presented itself or if soon there's a, a, a new direction to go with, go with that. You might even find, I mean, some of you Pisces, there could be something about exploring different territories, going on adventures or trips or travels or something like that. But most importantly, you are 
achieving something that's really important for you with this chariot. We, the cancer is associated with the chariot here. Don't let others drive you crazy either because that could really be a key thing <laughs> with that five of wands. Uh, okay, let's see. What else? got the fool's card. Yeah, free yourself right now. I mean, you know, I just feel that there may be, you know, this thing where perhaps we are scared of others' judgments or we're afraid that we might look like a fool here in some way. I'm not saying that all of you are, but there may be this thing where, you know, you're caring too much about what others think here, okay? And spirit is saying, no, this is your new beginning. See how this world card, it, we, we talked about this is like the end of a soul journey. And so you're ready and more than prepared for, you know, these events and these changes because you've cleared something up here. I mean, the fool, the fool's card is someone who's just living free, you know, ha who's really cleared out maybe karmic situations or karmic cords or, or just perhaps just not caring about what others think about what they're doing <laughs> or going. Some of you might even free yourself, um, you know, from codependent relationships here or what feels, you know, uh, like it could be codependent, okay? But I do feel that there is something about traveling uh, lightly here. Let's get more about this Knight of Swords. I feel like you need to take an, um, an, op an opportunity here with someone. We've got the Three of Swords. <laughs> changed mind here someone may have had a changed mind too and that could be whether it's you or, or someone that you dealt with here you know that could have been um hard to get over here right it's because three of swords we're dealing with some heartbreak but you know this is exactly what you're freeing yourself from and you're not waiting around there's nothing that you know i see that you're waiting around because the change is already happening here and you might get the clarity and truth that you need to resolve conflict within, you know, a heartbreak situation here or a disappointment. Yeah, you're, you're totally, you know, maybe some of you are just still struggling with this a bit, but for a lot of you, I mean, I see that you're, you've really overcome some type of um, heartbreak here. Like you've healed. What else? Now we've got the Ace of Swords. This is truth. This is honor. This is respect. And it's also clarity here. So I would say if things haven't come to light, oh, it will. Some way you're going to get information that's going to give you some type of light, clarity. And I do see something significant with important communication. So a lot of you... There's something picking up. There is momentum. I don't know if the momentum is the momentum going right now because what's really interesting that I'm seeing here is if you may need to redirect energy is only only for those Pisces where you feel that maybe your energy is like all over the place. <laughs> you know, you maybe you got a lot going on. See if you can simplify and maybe get you know the um that yang energy directed into something else. So it's going to be, you know, how you're approaching things, um, organizing things, executing things, and see if you can get it lined up in, you know, an, an area that you know that you can go full force with. Because you do have um, a lot of backup here. And there is something about you holding or carrying some type of you know, belief or truth that has victory marked all over it for you. What else? We got that page of swords <laughs> watching, paying attention here, and coming into 
a new experience because you're ready to. But the Page of Swords can bring a little bit of a challenge here because, you know, it may not be necessarily comfortable all the time. I mean, when you're on the chariot or when you're riding on things, we do have a little bit of turbulence here, but don't let that stop you. I mean, that I think that's exactly the perfect way of saying that. Don't, in fact, with the Ace of Swords, yes, don't let any turbulence, and you know it's going to happen anyways because it's called life, but don't let it stop you. There's some type of unexpected information coming in here, though, and it's going to give you, it's like the, it's going to give you some type of lift here. So expect some type of upliftment and perhaps a different way that you never thought, especially when it comes to overcoming any type of obstacles or an obstacle, right? Because there's a hot air balloon. <laughs> We're on the ground here. So you never know. Some type of random and unexpected event is, is going to happen here. You just have to be prepared, right? And the only way you can really be prepared for that is, um, you know, just paying attention right now to, and focusing on your strengths, the things that, you know, you've left behind that you no longer want to take into your new chapter. Because a lot of you might be headed towards some type of maybe a slight or significant lifestyle change. What else? Something is being tailored here for you. And when things are being tailored for you, Pisces, that means it's custom, which means it takes a little bit more time. <laughs> Wow, we got the tower and we got the moon. Oh my gosh, there is a lot of mystery here. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're showing up quite a bit here in your own reading too. The moon and the high priestess and the tower. You will be shown away. You, In fact, I would just say some of you guys might have already gone through this and a, a clearing is being made for you. But don't let things, uh, you know, obscure your view, especially when it comes to. Mm. Okay, some of you guys, I just heard this. Okay, so just take it if it resonates. It will not for all of you. But there may be something, you know, about some kind of hidden agenda or watch for hidden agendas or maybe some kind of truth came out about a hidden agenda here. But you also have a hidden agenda when it comes to fulfilling your own goals and dreams, okay? And keeping it pure. The only, I would say the only thing that you need to do because we, we do have some powerful cards at play. We got powerful, I, not just powerful cards, powerful, powerful energies at play. But there is something about your intuitive aspect being heightened here. Okay. So listen to the wisdom of yourself. Listen to, you know, those little nudges that you're feeling to make healthy changes or beneficial changes. Cause that's only going to accelerate more positivity towards you, especially because yes, you do have to sacrifice knowing because we just can't know everything, right? You know, the high priestess, you notice she's got that mm, um, crystal ball in the tarot, right? You can only predict so far into the future. Yes, we can take a glimpse. We can know what the energies are playing and play with it, but we can't go too far out there, and that's okay because you don't need to. You don't need to. Divine order, divine orchestration, but you will need to... Some of you, I don't know why I'm getting this. Something about privately moving or maybe there's something about doing something in a stealth-like way here. It's like something came down or something happened to offer freedom here, so go with it. And now if, if that hasn't happened yet, there is a situation where I can say is going to bring you some type of change and offer you freedom. And it's freedom for more happiness and whatever your, whatever your soul, you know, is needing or desiring. And what it's desiring is this need to fulfill something that's just unexplainable. And when it's unexplainable, so is the circumstance that we have to embrace at times. But... 
You, the only worst enemy would be to give into, you know, doubt and worry and fear, not trusting your own self here. Some of you might even be having like, ooh, maybe some crazy dreams. <laughs> Just kind of know that that's also a way that you, you are able to um, process feelings, emotions and heal, right? And also getting a little bit of insight here too. So um, some of you, something powerful has happened though, spiritually. I mean, a lot of you, something has really woken up, especially when it comes to your own inner strengths here. Cause I'm, I, I feel like you're um, coming to a place either now, or you, you know, you, maybe you have where you understand that your inner strength is a lot more powerful than anything on the outside, right? Or even what you try to force. So you're allowing it to come to you at this point. You're allowing insight information to come to you. But you do still need to stand in your own light and your own truth here. And it doesn't mean that you are al allowing life to just kind of do what life needs to do. No, you're staying focused and you're intentionally bringing forth visions and dreams. That's why when something really ignites with you to take action on whatever, go with it. That's how you're weaving your dream in this mystical arena of the moon and the high priestess. But this is kind of also where you're right at home, actually. Uh, what else for Pisces? So there, there is a lot here. I mean, two of swords, see, this is all about paying attention to what's going on in your internal world. It's more important right now than what's going on in the external world because whatever is happening in the external world can be changed or our view can change <laughs> when we take a little time. But the two of swords, we can be in the place of, you know, being indecisive here. But if you notice the um, lightning here, and she's actually stepping on this lightning, you know, there's like something more powerful going on when we're just maintaining a sense of poise and grace, being unconcerned about what we can't control, and just tuning in what we can control, which is your inner world. Let's get a little bit more, though, about this Two of Swords. Let's get um, some more advice about this Two of Swords. And look at the moon, too. Notice that full moon. You got that moon card right there. So it's like you're drawing down the moon's wisdom and information. But that does take some time, right, to decipher, to go through, to reflect. You're discovering a, like a brand new way and a brand new you and a brand new way of being in relationships in a, in a way that you already know is very, um, how do I say it? It's like, it's just, you just know it's divine in some way, or you just know that in some way it's genuine. Oh, I was getting more about the two of swords. Okay. Yeah. You're drawing down this moon energy. A and with that, it takes some time, right? So let's get a little bit more. What's the advice on this two of swords? Queen of Swords. Um, she's detached. She's con completely detached herself and she's focused on what's important and focused on uh, the task at hand. Now, there is something here too where I do feel a lot of you might already be being guided to ignore something right now because something better is going to happen for you because we do have, you know, some type of embrace here. Uh, we're holding someone's hand, but that's because we're seeing something clearly or we are not allowing emotions to override logic and reasoning and the facts at hand. Because maybe for some of you, what could help is just looking at the facts, you know, the solid facts at hand to help guide you, but continue to trust, you know, your intuition too. The two of swords is, you know, we're grounding and solidifying or keeping some, some type of energy clean and clear because then the queen of swords has set stern boundaries, cleared the way, making the way for something new. 
now also I would say don't ignore for those of you that are like concentrated, you know, you've got a good profession or career or job or something like maybe a business. I don't know. You know, you, you may need to concentrate. Don't, don't, don't let that go to the wayside. Right. Cause that mean you may need to pay attention to that. Okay. Uh, what else? Also the queen of swords is being fair as well as the knight of swords. Someone's on standby here. It's like, why am I getting like this thing about being on standby? There may be a soulmate here that's on standby. There may be something more complicated going on than can be explained. <laughs> because sometimes things just can't be explained. But you, you just need to stay concentrated on feeling satisfied. That's going to be your secret right now. Feeling more... Com more um, know feeling satisfied but also knowing that you have some type of uh, wish fulfillment here you've got the nine of cups here there's a plenty to go around so nine of cups is a good indication that we're right on track here for gaining something that is you know not only something that you want but something you're going to be proud of It's like best, the best things come to those who make, you know, these choices here, right? Choosing the path that is most suited for you. And yes, you do need to align something here when it comes to your mind and your heart. Oh my God. Here, look, look at this. Ten of cups. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't, it's like almost, you know, it's, it's kind of cute because I kind of see this thing where uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter uh, whatever road you take, it's going to lead you to this ten of cups. Okay. <laughs> Take time right now to unwind and chill out. Um, you know, get into the groove of feeling contentment. And how does it look in your heart and your mind right now? Take a moment to meditate on that. And perhaps you already have that. You know, there are things in our life that we are filled with, right? The Ten of Cups isn't about just getting to this place of satisfaction. It's going through all of the cups. The journey, like just we talked about that journey, to a state of maturity and contentment. Again, something that you're proud of. And who wouldn't be proud of something that feels emotionally abundant and secure and exudes authentic happiness? Cherish the, the ones that you love and know that if something went awry here with, with family, relationship, love, you're getting, oh my God, it's like the one step after another, nine of cups, ten of cups. There probably was a lot of emotional struggle here too because of this this transformation that you've gone through here and you might find you know this thing where you've may, maybe you feel that you've transformed quite quickly <laughs> and i could see that that's probably what's happened here but don't feel bad about that or i'm not saying that all of you are but don't question it it's meant to be what else Knight of Pentacles. Okay, look at this Knight of Pentacles. We're going at a leisurely pace here. So, yeah, take it slow here. A Knight of Swords is actually a card that is very fast, but if you notice, even in this knight, he's, he or she is, you know, standing still, right? Prepared for anything. And that's really where you want your mindset at, um, is to just prepare for anything, but feel good about it. You don't know what it is, but we do know it's going to bring you happiness. <laughs> How and when it shows up is a, the universe's job here. But your job is to be a willing par participant, right? And allowing yourself to dream, to feel fluid, and also pace yourself here too. Someone may be approaching you at a snail's pace, but at least they're approaching you with something genuine and right and reliable, I'm also seeing a reliable path here too for you. So conserve your time, your energy, and your resource. This, this really isn't the time, I would say, you know, that you don't want to be risky. The fool's card can be a little risky or foolish at times, right? But, you know, maintaining a sense of control here. But 
don't ignore this inner child or this inner like part of you that is um, actually it's already come out. It's like, hey, Pisces, let's be free together. <laughs> you know, don't, don't. Mm. Yeah, you're not putting anything in a pocket here. You're you're allowing things to be exposed and you're allowing yourself to uh, be lifted and feel upliftment. So Knight of Pentacles, we are, you know, at a leisurely pace here. And we're also taking in all the details. So there's a lot about you, you know, noticing details, um, that you may not have noticed. Okay. So this takes again, because you're in this process or you've been through this transformation. So you have a new pair of eyes, you know, that page, I thought we had the page of swords. Didn't we have, yeah. New set of eyes here. So you're seeing things different or things might just, you know, uh, speak to you different. And that's where you want to be. So you, you know, we do have things picking up here, but I think the secret with the Eight of Wands and that Chariot, because this is very fast, actually the Knight of Swords, so all three of these are very fast, but it seems to be, you know, a pr um, some type of balance, knowing when to speed up, but then also knowing when to slow down. What else? the unknown. We, we know this, but this is what's so beautiful. It's like when we embrace that unknown without fear or doubt or worry, we allow things to just fall into place. And when we allow things to fall in place, it, it becomes its own work of art here. But yet it is coming through you, right? Your dreams, you know, your compassion, your sensitivity, your love, and it's all falling into place. And the best thing to do is to embrace this unknown and just give in to the mystery of what's falling into place for you. Because sometimes when we're trying so hard to form our own ideas, right, uh, you know, again, it's all about practice. It's about when to go fast, when to slow down, because when you slow down, you may real, you may realize that you don't have to go too fast or work so hard at something. Something may just come to you, falls right into place. And this is why the Knight of Pentacles is, you know, going at a leisure place and just taking in the details, because when you do go fast, things look different versus when you go a little slower. And that doesn't mean you go at a snail's pace. <laughs> but yes, you do need to sacrifice having to figure it all out. Not saying all of you are trying to, but I think that's just a human nature. We all want to know what's going on as much as possible. Um, what else? Ah, oh, the matriarch. Nurture the harvest. Wow. That's what I see you doing, setting up camp here, setting up your, you know, force field to nurture the harvest. So yeah, again, we're not, you know, the, the matriarch isn't taking a very aggressive approach either. We're nurturing, we're feeling the abundance, we're being guided towards abundance. There's a mother here at play as well, but I want you to see yourself as this baby here being embodied by the matriarch. So there's something more important going on here when it comes to feeling secure. You know, you might find even in your own self a profound sense of well-being, comfortable, you know, some kind of um, um, level of comfort with, within your own skin and sensuality. But also knowing you deserve to have good things in life, the luxuries in life. What else? This is Empress, by the way. So Taurus and Libra is showing up with Empress. So I feel a lot of you already have a lot of different ideas or there's a lot going on. Again, you may, you know, you may pick one or two things, if, especially if it feels like it's too much. 
maybe write down the other ones and, and get back to it at a later time if you feel that you need to come back to it. But right now you're nurturing the harvest, you're nurturing your soul, you're nurturing your body. Wow, look at that, oh my God. We got something strong about love, healthy relationships, not giving up on love or those that you do love. We got quite the chemistry going on here. <laughs> I don't know why this one like is like really connected to that temperance too here because there's some kind of alchemy that's going on, right? The polar opposites coming together and knowing how to embody one another without forcing one another or um, blending and blurring. I know you guys can't see that because of the light here, but it's blue and red. Okay. <laughs> We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's get more about this Two of Cups. Just, you know, love is the potion right now for anything. I know it may sound cheesy, right? Because there might be, you know, it's like cheesy, but it does work. Okay, when you really, you know, it's, and it works in a way where, you know, first of all, you don't want to force it. But sometimes you got to trick yourself to feeling good, especially if you've been feeling angry or upset, you know. Anyhow, let's get more about this Two of Cups. This chemistry just works, though. What's important for Pisces to know about this Two of Cups? <laughs> Something magical here. Look at that Page of Cups. A totally new experience here. So we got some type of good emotional happiness here. You know, don't feel awkward because that there there may be something or someone may feel, you know, awkward because it is a new experience. But, you know, don't take things too seriously. Don't take yourself seriously. And just be open to new, a totally new experience within yourself, with love, um, with experiencing things that, you know, that you do love, right? So um, I would say there may be something important about engagements, parties, ceremonies, being invited to that, um, saying yes to these things. Okay. You want to say yes. <laughs> oh. See, we're nurturing the harvest. This is what you're doing. This 10 of cups. Some of you guys, you're all, you're really good. You've, you've come to this place where you know, you've worked hard, um, internally here and your world on the outside has matched up yeah, this is, this is, you know, your grand, I don't even know, grand ceremony or something like that, your graduation here. What else? Now life keeps on moving, right? But for the time being, you can, you know, take a moment and breathe here. Okay, Six of Wands told you, we got something about, uh, you know, victory. And yeah, you know, maybe being noticed or having some attention here. There may be a homecoming for any of those. Um, I'm getting this strong for only for those, you know, if you resonate with this, but I am getting something strong about a successful journey home for those ones that might, you might be the one out there, or maybe you have a loved one, a loved one or loved ones, you know, doing military uh, service or some type of service here where they have to leave. And I see they're coming back home victorious, ha healthy, and happy. So just take that if it resonates. But we have um, something that's soaring in your life. So I would say, Pisces, you know, you're meant to feel in quite abundant here uh, internally, externally. So, you know, I do see you maybe don't hide yourself when the time comes, okay? But honor and success and victory is yours. And you also need to know, I mean, look, we got that five of wands here. So the winner, I mean, here you are. You're the winner. <laughs> and you didn't have to work too hard at it. That's the nice thing about it. All right, let's see. What else? And also I'm seeing, you know, someone that has some type of public image, um, a good reputation. And there may be some strong soul recognition here. I can, you know, with that six of cups, 10 of cups, two of cups. There's something about soul recognition here. Let 
Yeah, total disruption and the goddess of will. This is, oh my gosh, your random occurrence at hand here. Something is going to cause some type of total disruption. It could be an, a water sign, maybe Scorpio. This is the... This is closely associated with uh, the death card here, but it is about transformation, right? Transformation, growth, whatever causes disruption because it's unexpected. It's, you know, the enigma here, the unknown. <laughs> but when you do embrace it, know that heaven has got your back here, right? The wheel of change. It's like anything can happen here. So you're just being prepared for whatever is possible. I would say don't even waste your time and your energy trying to figure it out too much. Um, because if you do, you may, you know, miss out on some details or something that's going on here for you to appreciate or feel blissed about. But the will of change is certainly what's playing at hand here. And this is like the, definitely the will of uh, destiny. We don't, you don't have any control over it. It's just going to happen. A random act here. So let's find out a little bit more about this random occurrence for Pisces. The direction of this circle, the will of change, which is the will of fortune. Oh my gosh. There's something strong too. I'm seeing these wings. It's like things that you never thought or felt would be light will be light here. It's like, um, I don't know. I'm just seeing a lot of angelic wings on things. And, and this dove on this Ace of Cups is saying something strong to me. Peace, tranquility, divine messages, divine insight. You can trust that you're receiving divine guidance and insight. But most importantly, an opportunity to really know what it's like or to bliss out in self-love, love, anything that is nourishing your soul. And yes, a new beginning in love, a new experience with love. And I think this is kind of cute too because we had the nine of cups and then you got that ten of cups, right? So then we just take the nine of cups and then this cup, I mean, it, again, it's like 10 of cups. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> the best was it the best of the best for you. But it does require, you know, you know, some type of uh, new eyes or experience or the willingness to to get into a, this new experience. What else? Nope, that's it for those. Okay, so let's find out what's a near positive outcome for Pisces. A near positive outcome for Pisces. You know what, Pisces? I almost, it looks like a, looks like a moon above the head here on the temperance, or maybe like a day moon. It could be the sun, but again, there's something, you know, look at the head. Yeah, there's something really beautiful that's happening with your crown chakra and you receiving a lot of divine guidance. And yes, maybe patience where you don't know how you formed it, but you might surprise yourself. <laughs> oh, look at, oh, look at my kitty is uh, falling asleep. He's, he's been his pass out. This is his bed, by the way. So anyhow, uh, the star card, can we, can, hello, can, uh, oh, spirit, look at this. A near positive outcome, a guiding light, a way to get fulfillment, a way to feel good and knowing your future is positive, that you don't have to give in to feeling disruption within your soul. Because some of you guys, you something happened here where it's like you had to gather a lot of your energy. It's almost like something may have happened and you felt completely defragmented. And it's like you're having to pick up the pieces, you know, of parts of you. And you've gathered them up, them up here. So we have this beautiful star energy, which is letting you know that, you know, something is aligning up here. 
that is good and healthy and bright for you. And also with destiny, there's other souls at play here. So you are receiving some type of beautiful wish fulfillment, a dream come true, but it's going to come into a form or a way that you just, you never thought of, or spirit just doesn't want you to think about. Let it be a surprise. A very good positive outcome. And yes, a lot of you Pisces, you know, you could see an upswing or an or something good, especially when it comes to maybe your career or things that you're feeling guided to do here or holding the light for others. So they find you because no matter what, you're not going to allow anything to disrupt that inner light because you do hold this magnificent moon energy. That's what's so special about you. So you're allowing that to illuminate here. All right. I hope that this was helpful. Love and light. Take care.